Hey there and thank you for checking out my video, full course on colors and lights, as well as all of my other premium courses are available on Skillshare. Go there through the link in the description to get two months for free. And now, let's start our video. In this lesson, we will talk about hue, saturation and vibrance. So let's start with hue, saturation, adjustment layer. And we have few options here. We are able to adjust the tone of the image by adjusting the hue and adjust the saturation of the image. Below that, we have slider for the lightness, which is not really often used in photography. We can work with the master mode and in the master mode, whether we will be adjusting the saturation or the hue of the image, we affect all of the colors that exist on the image. So let's go back and let's see what different modes we have here. We can also work with each and specific colors such as reds, yellows, greens, cyans, blues and magentas. So for example, if I will go to the reds and increase the saturation on the reds, I'm only increasing the saturation in the areas that red color actually exists. And the same when I will be manipulating with the hue, I'm only manipulating with the hue where the red color is defined here. And you can see where it's defined on the bottom. You can see the range of the red and I can actually change this. I can increase the range or I can make the range smaller. So let's go back. We don't want to change it that much. Uh, let's see some different color, for example, greens. If I would like to increase the greens here, my plants that are colored green should also increase the saturation. Although these plants are recognized probably as the yellows here and it doesn't catch the range. So to catch this, I would have to increase the range. I don't want to do it this way. So what I would do in this case I could choose this small hand and then try to define which color it is on the image. So let's say I'm going to hit on this plant and as you can see the plant got recognized as the yellow color. If I would try to adjust now the saturation and hue I'm also affecting other parts of the image which is not ideal. So again maybe I could adjust the range but there is actually the better way of doing it so i'm going to choose the color that doesn't really exist on this image it could be probably blues or magentas or the color we don't plan to work with then i'm going to choose this eyedropper and with this eyedropper I'm going to define the area I want to work with so I could define the area on this plant and then as you can see it recognized this as the yellows number two and it defined the color range over here which allows you for a little bit better definition and other yellows are not as strongly affected and then it could help me to adjust the range even a little bit better to not affect maybe the skin but just affect the plants in this case and as you can see it could help us a lot after that I can adjust the hue to make the plants a little bit greener than they are at the start and this is how I would work with hue saturation then let's move to the vibrance so I'm going to turn off visibility on hue saturation and then open vibrance so i have two sliders here one is vibrance and the other slider is saturation what is the difference between them you see the best way is to use the sliders go to the right hand side to plus 100 and left hand side to minus 100 and what you can see it does not desaturate or saturate the image fully. Some of the other colors maybe are fully desaturated, but you can see that actually yellows and oranges are quite well preserved. So we could assume the skin tones are well preserved 
while using vibrance. Though in the case of the saturation, we increase the saturation equally on all of the colors, which affects way stronger than skin than the vibrance. And when we desaturate the image, as you can see, we desaturated this fully to minus 100 and all of the colors are desaturated. That's why if I want to, let's say, make image punchy, but I don't want to affect the skin tones as much, I would use the vibrance to increase the saturation of other elements but the skin. This is how you can work with hue saturation and the vibrance adjustment layer.